Hi, my name is Aaron, and today's tech tip is going to be about a couple of our popular harnesses that are designed to move the device from the OBD port to a more convenient location. The first one we're going to talk about is the Y harness. It's also called the EZT harness, and this is designed to keep the OBD port free on the vehicle. Now, what you do is you back the OBD plug out of the harness on the vehicle itself. You then insert one end of this into that location, and then you plug the other end of this into the harness that you backed out connected to the vehicle. That leaves you one arm of this harness, which you can then mount up into the dash. Now, you can install the device directly into this like this, or you can use a mounting bracket, which is great for uh, making sure the vehicle moves at the same time as the device, because you want those two things to be in sync to get good accelerometer data. Um, you can use this. It's also great for um, avoiding tampering because you can put lots of connectors on it and tie it up nice and tight. But you don't have to have this. But if you do, um, both of these components go up into the dash and then you zip tie these elements in the dash around a frame piece up in the dash. And that way when the vehicle moves, this moves and you get accurate accelerometer data. If you want to know if harsh braking is accurate, you don't want false claims or you know, false positive information. That's all about the installation process. The accelerometer in this is great. It's the uh, same accelerometer found on the Wii game controller. So it is very sensitive, very accurate, and very well tested over time. Uh, it's the installation that makes a big difference in this. So that's what uh, we typically call the Y harness or the EZT harness. The next harness we're going to talk about is the low profile harness. And the low profile harness is designed uh, to be used when the device itself sticks too far out into the driver's uh, you know, sitting area where he tends to bump it or kick it or something of that nature. You can also use it to move the device up into the dash to reduce temptation or if you need to put it in a different location in case um, you know, there's something in the dash that's preventing a good uh, signal getting to the uh, GPS device. And if you'll notice when you look at this, that plugs right into the OBD port on the vehicle and that's how far it would stick out if it didn't have this. And this comes off at 90 degrees and this part's in your OBD port. This part goes up into your dash this plugs into that as such, and then you secure this to the frame of the vehicle. And again, you can use the mounting bracket, which is great for holding everything really securely in place. Uh, also deters against tampering, uh, at least discourages against tampering, because you, uh, you know, we, when we send this out, we send it out with about six zip ties. So it really holds that thing in place. But uh, you know, this is a, a less expensive harness, but it does mean that the OBD port does require this. If you're not worried about the OBD port for maintenance or uh, some other type of device, then this is an inexpensive way to move the device, again, so it's not in the driver's way or it's less tempting to you know, try to, to fool with it to, to beat the system. So um, those are two of the most popular harnesses. If you have any questions about either the, uh, the anti-tampering mounting bracket the low profile harness or the Y harness, also called the EZT harness. Just give us a call, talk to your account manager, they'll hook you up with uh, more information and um, you know, you'll get some additional benefits by being able to move the device around in the vehicle. That's your tech tip from Fleetistics, thank you.